This video will cover the stair tool in AutoCAD architecture. It's a pretty easy tool to use, but also is fairly flexible in how it can create stairs if you're trying to create a 3D stair object or for use in plans. You'll see that there's a stair tool on the ribbon and also on the tool palette. Once you start your tool, like any of the other AEC objects, the properties palette will automatically open. And then there are some important settings there to check to make sure that they're set up the way you want. The most important setting here is your height. And that's going to normally be your floor to floor height between the two floors that you're connecting with the stair. If you set this, then that will automatically create a stair that's the right size and plan because it's going to base the riser and tread sizes on how the stair style is set up and also what is set below here in the properties palette for the tread size. So I'm going to choose 12 feet for my height, just as an example. Uh, you also have a width here, and this is easy to change afterwards if you want. But if you're already here changing settings, you might as well change that at the same time. So maybe I'll make that 5 feet. Um, and then you have your tread size as well. So I'm going to leave that on 11 inches. The other important thing to consider while you're here is the shape. And if you hit the pull down in the properties palette there, you'll see that you have U-shaped, multi-landing, spiral and straight. So I'm going to start with a straight stair just because it's very simple. So I'll choose that. And then if you read your command line, you can see that it's just waiting for simply the flight start point. So I can click and then extend the mouse up in whichever direction I want the stair to go. Now you'll notice that it says um, the number of treads that it's creating. And so you can see that it's going to be 21 treads in size. So I'll just pull the mouse out past the end of the stair and then click the mouse to complete it. Now it will keep this tool active if you want to create a second stair that's the same. So if you're done, you can hit space, enter, or right click. So now you have a stair drawn. Uh, it shows a break line uh, with the bottom of the stair showing the risers and treads, and then the top of the stair showing as dashed because that's above the current cut plane height. You can select the stair and look at the properties at any point that you want. And then you can also adjust the grips. If you want to adjust the width or otherwise edit the edges of the stair, while you have it selected, use the gray round grip, which if you hover, it will say edit edges. When you select that, it changes the mode to where I can now pull the edges out to make the stair wider if I want. Or I can also grab a corner and actually taper the stair. So it gives you a good bit of flexibility in what you do with the shape. If we look at the riser size, it's based upon the 12 foot height of the stair and also some rules that are set up within the stair style, which are kind of determining the maximum riser size. So if I go to edit style for the stair and look at how the stair is made, you can see here where there's a maximum riser height and an optimal riser height set at seven inches. So it's going to use that seven as a maximum and then get as close to it as possible. So if you wanted to adjust these settings, you could make the optimal riser height something different. And then uh, that would allow you to customize how the stair is created in terms of its dimensions. There's also uh, maximum tread sizes. So you can adjust any of these. For example, if you're doing residential stair, you might want a riser of eight rather than seven, uh, something along those lines. If we look at the stair three-dimensionally, you can see that it's relatively simple. So, so many times you're going to want to edit the style in order to make this a little more realistic in how it's constructed. So again, we can go back and edit the style. And then on the stringers tab, I can add stringers, for example. So if I click add twice, and then one is aligned to the left, one is aligned to the right, you have different types of stringers. Uh, for example, the slab stringer will create what looks like a uh, concrete stair, in which case you only need to add one. A saddled stringer is more like a wood stair. So just to show you how that works, uh, we'll hit OK. And now you can see how it's added, uh, essentially, what acts as a wood stringer under the bottom. So that's pretty easy to manipulate. Now, the different shapes of stairs are very important to give yourself more flexibility in how the stair is going to work. So I'm going to redo the stair tool. 
and this time instead of the straight shape I'm going to change to multi landing otherwise I'm going to leave all of my settings the same basically this gives you the opportunity to put a landing at a halfway point of your choice so I'm going to start the stair and now I can go up any number of treads that I want I can also type in a specific distance that I want to go to the center point of the landing in this case I'm going to go to 12 out of 21 so that's how many treads I'm adding out of the overall 21 treads that would otherwise be necessary so now I can click to end that first flight point and now what it's asking is for a start point again so this is the second run of the stair so I'm going to move my mouse over slightly to the left of the left edge of the first run click to start a second run and then go past 21 and click again so now I have basically put an L-shaped stair with a landing at the halfway point if you select it again you have easy grips to work with but you're going to probably in this shape of stair need to manipulate it a little bit more in order to get it to be exactly the shape you need for example for example when I clicked the start of the second run I just clicked an arbitrary point that was to the left of the edge of the first run so if I want that to align precisely with the left edge of the first run I can draw a reference line real quick and then pull that grip back for the turn point until it hits that reference line as long as I use my polar and my O snap now I have that second run the uh, start of it aligning with the edge of the first run what's nice about the stair in this case is if I want to lengthen the first run and shorten the second run it's very easy to do all I need to do is take this length and flight grip the triangle at the start of the stair and pull it down and it will automatically shorten the second run at the same time so it's very easy because it, it's going to maintain the overall height of 12 feet and just transfer the treads from the first run down to the second as I lengthen it now, I can also go the opposite direction if I shorten this run it will lengthen the second run because it understands it still needs to go to 12 feet high um, at the overall top of the stair now some things that you may want to adjust are the display properties for example whether or not the uh, upper part is showing as dashed so if we go to edit style and then the display properties tab I can hit the edit display properties button on the right if I want to edit all stair styles or if I want to edit only this stair style I would check the box for a style override now you can see here there's uh, light bulbs for the various components of the stair see right now it's turned on the outline above the cut so if I don't want that I can turn that off and then hit OK and OK and now that part is gone so that's one option if I want the entire stair to show above the cut I can uh, turn on the risers above the cut plane and then hit OK and OK and now it's showing those a lot of times that's helpful if you're editing the stair and you want to be able to see those risers to know whether you have your risers um, flush with the landing or not so now it might be easier to edit and then you can always go back and turn that off later if you want so that's uh, an easy way to make it uh, a little more visible so the edit button allows you to turn on or off any of those components that you want so above cut plane is the upper part of the stair uh, if you want to adjust any of those items the other part of the stair style that's uh, easy to customize is the components tab where we can turn we can adjust the tread thickness the riser thickness the nosing length and other simple dimensional criteria for the stair stop and then just hit OK whenever you're done 